Welcome to day two of Colorado's first summer snow 2020. The calendar says it's September 8th, but you can't tell it from the snow and the freezing cold. But we're thankful for the unseasonably cold, snowy weather. Folks in the southeastern United States might be thinking, Van, you're delusional. How can you be thankful for snow and freezing temperatures in early September? Why, well, shoot fire. It's still summer. I may have some delusions, but our gratitude for this change of weather is grounded in necessity. We've had a lengthy drought this summer and a number of wildfires that were made worse by hot, dry weather. An occasional thunderstorm and lightning ignited some of the fires, but human negligence caused the others. We live near Pike National Forest along with several hundred, several hundred other families. And in our neck of the woods, a wildfire can cause billions of dollars of damage to homes, churches, businesses, and an unthinkable loss of human lives, not to mention hundreds of square miles of prime animal habitat. Today on the Vantage Point, we're going to explore a radical summer snow event here in Colorado that could be a good thing. I hope you'll join me. Happy Labor Day weekend, folks. Coming to you from our front yard in Park County, Colorado, and we're looking at the scene of a mountain that's normally quite beautiful. It's called Meridian Hill. It's about 10,000 feet above sea level at the top. And over in this direction, we've got Rosedale Peak. You can't see it. It's around 11,500 feet. And this is our yard. It's amazing how this Labor Day weekend, the weather has been quite hot. In Denver area, it's been around 95 to 100 degrees every day. And here in uh, our neck of the woods, it's been around 75 to 85 degrees close in the 40s and 50s but that's all going to change tomorrow because we have our first winter snow coming in I think it's uh, what, September 8th is that right tomorrow will be September 8th and we have uh, our first winter snow they're expecting anywhere from 5 to 11 inches maybe 12 inches up here in the mountains and uh, as you go further north towards Wyoming it's probably going to be up around uh, 12 to 15 feet uh, inches not feet Ooh, that'd be awful Anyway, if you're looking ahead here, I'm going to show a picture of what Meridian Hill looks like from this vantage point on a normal day. Today you can't hardly see it because we see a lot of smoke in the air. And that smoke is from a number of wildfires that are taking place here in Colorado. This snow event can't come at a quicker time, I can tell you that for sure, because this, uh, this weather has been dry and hot and that exacerbates conditions and allows for wildfires to spread. But that's going to change tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, thankfully um, that, will, that will change with respect to uh, these wildfires, and the air will clear up a little bit too. It's uh, difficult to breathe at this elevation anyway, and so with all the smoke in the air, it makes it even more difficult. We're going to do some more filming, and tomorrow I'm going to pick up and show you what it looks like uh, to have a snowstorm coming in about 36 hours after it was 100 degrees. So stay tuned. Folks, this is a, a pond over in Elk Creek Highlands and Meadows. It's a development here in Park County. And this pond is actually a reservoir for water to fight wildfires. Now, you, I'm going to pan around just a bit so you can see the air is again smoky here normally this is extremely clear and you can see for miles and miles on end but not today a few weeks with some rain this summer but for the most part it's been dry and you can tell if uh, this pond is normally you can tell by the the wet ground over there the pond is normally a lot higher than it is right now and that means that if there is a fire uh, uh, Harris Park and Highland Meadows and it's going to be it's going to be tough because this is what's going to be used to put out the fire and there's not a whole lot of uh, water here if you can, you can tell it's probably an eighth of an acre probably of water left and there's only one road in here and one road out and you've got at least I'd say about 10 to 15 maybe 20 percent of the population of Park County lives off of that road and uh, Harris Park is straight ahead from our view and you know, God bless those people if there were a, to be a fire over here. And I'm gonna pan around and show you this is a back street here in Bailey. And the thing that I'm really keenly interested in seeing is the uh, Sasquatch outpost. And 
This, of course, is one of the most famous places here in Colorado. Um, it's also our granddaughter Zoe Williamson's favorite place on the planet, I believe. She's been here a number of times, and she always loves to stand in front of the Sasquatch and get her picture made. We love you, Zoe. You can see that there's uh, some color change. The aspens up here at this elevation are changing, but you can also see the haze in the sky. Standing at about 9,780 feet above sea level, and you can see the air is full of smoke. These are not the Smoky Mountains again. These are the Here we are at the edge of the yard, and of course you can see the uh, the snow and is piling up on the ground and the trees. It's quite a winter wonderland here in September. Just do a little pan around here. See a magpie up there. They're quite common here in Colorado. I hope it's nice where you are. We're thankful for this snow today. We've had a lot of uh, wildfires here as uh, I mentioned a dozen times already. Um, so we're, we're glad to see the snow and the cooler temperatures. Mm -hmm. 